I'm sorry about the heat. Well, Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Heard of it? My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. That's true. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, Spear. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog. Which is available here at a reasonable price. If you knew what it's like in here. I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time. But we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and mantle floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a Groundbreaker or anywhere in the Halcyon Colony. Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar Eclipse Mix. That's Two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. Add an additional 10% to your purchase today and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school, only to make him wear this hat. Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now. Are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moonmouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar green, the future is spearmint. I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. 
Uh, have a look. Anywhere, you hear? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See him, Furrow? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Something I can help you with? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs. And that's simply not tenable. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records. 
if that's what you're implying. Take care. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep those clothes for a reason?
Nicely done. Do you ever get a little bit homesick? Fresh water? Yeah. Oh, shit. No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes. Don't so why? I just want to have a <laughs> Of course you do. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, 
He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? What was that? What do you think you're doing? Just don't make more paperwork. Step lively, Miss Holcomb. I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. Any word on Jesse? Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it.
Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Jun Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back! I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache food on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. You'd think the board and its agents would be more content, sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. ...finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the League and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance-enhancing stims. A toss ball first. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their droppings. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate?
I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. She helped me win a bet. 
We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Shots after this. Uh, how about I stay up top? You know, keep watch. Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertising. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and phantom ploys? 
Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful bond. regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Sometimes the savant has to remain to make a place. Rest assured, the far-sighted corporate leaders of Halcyon have tailored their product lines to be <laughs> Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news. No we in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltoon.
Hey, Ellie. Having your usuals? Not today. I'm on the job. Never thought I'd see the day. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is, we're cooking in our own juices here, and it's only gonna get worse. Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap, best she can, anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. Weeks? I lost track. Too law damn long. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Jun Lei in engineering. There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, June's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Nothing you need and everything you want. Doing that last zero G was a mistake. Going back to the old cubicle to watch the latest episode of my serial. What's a nice boy like you watch? Something exciting, romantic, baking with Edna? I like documentary serials. Truth is better than fiction. Right now, I'm watching The Cannibals of Monarch. Oh. <laughs> 